you get him? I got him. You ready? So I got this. Uh, I got this email from Jerome in uh, North Carolina, and he he's having a humidity problem in his crawl space. And he was asking me. He says, uh, you know, I had these two guys come out, these two companies, and one of the companies said that we should uh, put in a dehumidifier and close the vents, and it was going to be around three thousand dollars. And the other guy came in and said, well, we should we should do a dehumidifier, close the vents, and install a sump pump and a trench, and that was going to be about nine thousand dollars. So uh, I said, well, do you have standing water? And uh, he responded, no, he didn't have standing water. So um, if you don't have standing water, you don't need a sump pump in a trench. So that is a bit of an overkill. So you got to uh, make sure you're solving the problem that you want to solve. Now, the only thing I would add to that is I'm assuming that the uh, both never mentioned that they were going to properly ventilate the crawl space and if you've seen any of my past videos we always put the crawl space under negative pressure even though we're trying to control humidity okay so North Carolina I just had a gentleman from Alabama call talking about controlling humidity so anytime you're trying to control humidity you want to seal all the vents but one and have a fan blow out of that one vent and then control humidity with a properly sized dehumidifier. And make sure you got a good vapor barrier, all that should also be in place. But only use a sump pump and a sump pump in a trench if you're concerned about standing water. Um, that's typically when you would inv involve a sump pump or a sump pump in a trench. Now, there is one exception to that rule. If your crawl space floods, in other words, if you have a plumbing leak the copper line, whatever, bursts, and, and the refrigerator, uh, ice maker busts or whatever, and drains water into your crawl space. It will fill your crawl space with water if you don't have a sump pump. But again, what are the chances of that happening? That would be the only reason why I would install a sump pump without standing water coming in through the foundation if you have the fear of the crawl space becoming flooded from above and most of the time the people that have that fear are people who have already experienced it so they're a little bit more uh, paranoid about that happening again so that would be the only reason why I would have a sump pump installed if you don't have standing water so anyway uh, hope that helps my name is Michael Church and uh, keep those questions coming these are great great questions and uh, look forward to answering the next question for you thanks again and make it a great and blessed day thanks.